Hello everyone. Today we are going to study new lesson of class 9 physics pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure. The learning objective of this chapter pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure is it will help you to understand the concept of pressure. It will also help you to understand how atmospheric pressure is going to affect the environmental condition. This chapter will help you to understand the different instruments that are used to determine the atmospheric pressure. This chapter we are going to discuss in the two parts. The first part we are going to discuss about pressure in fluids and its transmission. And the second part is atmospheric pressure and its measurement. In the first part, pressure in fluids and its transmission, we are going to study the thrust and pressure. After that, we are going to study the pressure in fluids as well as pressure exerted by liquid column. After that, we are going to discuss the laws of liquid pressure as well as the consequences of liquid pressure. After that, we will discuss about Pascal's law and its application. So let us start with pressure in fluids and its transmission. The first point that we are going to discuss is what is thrust? The thrust is the force applied on a surface in a direction perpendicular to the surface. Basically, thrust is the force that is applied on the surface, but it should be perpendicular to the surface. As shown in the slide, a pointed object is exerting force on the surface in a direction perpendicular to the surface of that block. So, as I said, thrust is the force, the unit of thrust is Newton. The next point is, what is pressure? The effect of thrust per unit area is called pressure. The formula for pressure is, pressure is equal to thrust upon area. Based on the formula, we can say that pressure depends on thrust, that is the force, and second, area. The first part is pressure is directly proportional to thrust. It means that if the force exerting on the body is more, the pressure is more and vice versa. Second part, pressure is inversely proportional to area. It means that less area is going to exert more pressure and vice versa. The SI unit of pressure is Pascal. 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per 1 meter square. The next point is fluids. What do you mean by fluids? The matter which has a tendency to flow or called it as a fluid. Some of the examples of fluids are water, milk, blood, saliva, gases. Basically, liquid and gases are called it as fluid. Next, we will see the example of pressure. In this example, there is a juice box. In that box, the juice is present. It is kept in a surrounding. You will observe that the arrows are shown in the slide representing the pressure exerted by the liquid as well as by the gaseous molecule. So it shows that pressure is exerted by the liquid also as well as by the gaseous molecule also. The next point that we are going to discuss is pressure exerted by a liquid column. 
there is a formula to determine the pressure exerted by a liquid collar the formula is pressure p is equals to h rho g where p is pressure exerted by liquid collar h is depth of the liquid collar rho is density of liquid and g is acceleration due to gravity based on this formula p is equal to h rho g we can say that pressure is directly proportional to depth of liquid collar it means that as the depth increases the pressure increases and vice versa second pressure is directly proportional to density of liquid different liquids having a different density for example density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so as there are the different kinds of liquid having different density the pressure exerted by those liquids are different from that we say that pressure is directly proportional to density more density will exert more pressure third pressure is directly proportional to acceleration due to gravity the value of acceleration due to gravity is not uniform everywhere but it changes with respect to altitude with respect to latitude and with respect to depth so as the value of gravity will change the value of pressure exerted by liquid column will also change the next point is pressure changes with height in the given slide it is shown that the air molecules present in the air are scattered along the different direction at higher altitude have a lower pressure because there is less air lower altitude have a higher pressure because there is more air the next example is the pressure changes with depth there is one container containing liquid having openings at the top at the middle and at the bottom from this slide you will observe that the liquid coming from this nozzles are having the different pressure the liquid coming from the bottom opening is having more pressure compared to the nozzle present at the middle and at the top so it basically shows that the pressure of liquid increases with depth i would like to give one more example the sea divers wears the special suit when they swim into the sea water the reason is that when they go inside the sea water as the depth increases the pressure increases to balance the pressure the spear the special suit wear by the sea divers the next one pressure changes with change in the acceleration due to gravity just now i explained that the value of gravity changes as we move from equatorial region to polar region so as we move from equatorial region to polar region the value of pressure will change the next point that we are going to study is pascal's law pascal's law states that pressure at a point in a fluid is equal in all direction for example if you are going to consider a closed confined plane if you are going to apply pressure of 10 newton per meter square at the one piston of that closed confined plane that pressure will get distributed equally among all the directions of that closed confined plane in this slide the mass is kept on one side of a vessel that mass 
is going to exert pressure to the liquid and that pressure will get transmitted to the other side the object placed on the other side will get lifted up one more example i would like to explain the example is hydraulic press in this hydraulic press there are two cylinder small cylinder and bigger cylinder they are interconnected by a pipe containing liquid the lever is attached to smaller cylinder and a load is placed on the bigger cylinder when we are going to push the lever we are going to transmit the pressure to the liquid that pressure will get transmitted to the bigger cylinder due to which the load placed on the bigger cylinder will get lifted up the next i would like to explain one numerical based on pressure in this example a force of 1200 newton acts on the surface of area 10 cm square normally what would be the thrust and pressure on the surface in this question the force is given as 1200 newton area is given as 10 cm square cm square is not the si unit of area so we will have to convert it into meter square so we will multiply this value by 10 to the power minus 4 because 1 cm square is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 meter square so we when we are going to multiply this value that will become 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 will give you 10 to the power minus 3 meter square as already given in the question that the force 1200 newton acting on the surface area 10 cm square normally it means that the force is exerting normally to the surface so we call that force as a thrust so we say thrust is equal to force is equal to 1200 newton so we got the first answer of the given numerical the second part we have to calculate the pressure on the surface to find out the pressure on the surface we are going to use the formula pressure is equal to thrust upon area so pressure p is equal to thrust that is the force upon area the value of thrust is given as 1200 and the area is given as 10 to the power minus 3 so if you are going to take the value of 10 to the power minus 3 to the numerator and if you are going to shift the decimal to the left hand side then you will get the value of pressure as 1.2 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square thus we got the second answer also thus the pressure on the surface is 1.2 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square thank you